just going to pick a paper and I'll show you how to look it up in our library to see if we've, we've got it or not. And I did not pre-plan which one I was going to look for, so this is going to be a surprise to all of us. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, so I'm going to pick, um, let's see, which one? This one right here by J.J. Lindsay and C.A. Anderson. And um, so, yeah, you can see that just like in the example we looked at before, here are the authors. This is the year it was published. This is the title of the study. And then the part in italics is the journal name. So one thing that I could do is I could go into our library and I could go to Psych Info and I could search for this article and I could see if it was in there. But as you guys know now, there's so many different databases in the library and this could be in any of them. So it wouldn't be very efficient to just look in Psych Info. Instead, what we can do is look and see right away whether we have this journal at all in the library. And if we do, it will give us a link to it. So what you want to do is copy the name of the journal. So I just um, highlighted it, right clicked, and I'm saying copy. I'm not highlighting and copying the name of the article just yet. I'm only copying the name of the journal, Personality and Social Psychology Bulletin. Then what I need to do is go to the Capilano Library homepage. And every other time we've gone here so far, what we've done is we've gone to the databases link or the databases box. We're doing something different this time. This time we're going to the journals. We're bypassing the databases entirely and we're just going to click on journals. We're going to search for this one to see if we have it. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to left click, right click, sorry, and then click paste. So it was personality and social psychology bulletin. And I'm going to click search. Okay, so it looks like we do have this journal and we have a couple of options. So this one that says citations only, 2008 to current, and it's in this database called CINAHL Complete. That's a health sciences uh, database. We don't want that one because citations only means that we would, if we were to search in that database, we would find a reference to the article, but we wouldn't find the reference, it, the, uh, the paper itself. We would only see the citation. But these ones, that are online 1997 to current, I think those ones might work. I just have to go back to my previous page and see if those years work. So we have 1997 to current. And let's look at my reference that I'm looking for. Um, okay, yeah, this one is from 2000. So in theory, we should totally have this article. So now what I'm gonna do is copy the name of the, the article itself or the research study. I'm going to go back into the library. Where's my tab? Here it is. And I'm going to click into the database that said, I could actually pick any, either one of these. It doesn't matter because they both are 1997 to current. So if I click into this one, this database is going to have issues of this journal that I need. Okay, here it is. So we're in Personality and Social Psychology Bulletin. You always want to look for the search box, right? So I'm, I've just found the search box and I'm going to paste the title of that article in and I'll click search. And here it is by J.J. Lindsay and C.A. Anderson. This is the article that I wanted to get. I found it just by looking at a PDF that I liked. I just picked an article that I thought I might want to, might want to read. I looked in the library whether we had this journal or not, and we did, and I clicked into the right database, and I searched for the title of the article itself, and here it is. So now you can see that there's a little icon here of a PDF. If I click on that, it's going to download the paper for me. So this was a very successful um, instance of doing citation linking. So we've already looked at how to find which papers have cited a paper you like. And in this example, we looked at how to look at a paper you like, pick something from the reference list, and check and see whether it was in our library or not. And if we hadn't had it, you would have to submit an interlibrary loan request as per normal. Um, and if you do need any help remembering how to do that, um, I'll put a link to make sure that you can see that video again. Um, after this one is done. You're now going to have a chance to practice citation linking and when we're done 
We'll take some of those same skills that you learned and apply them to how to create your own citations and reference lists using APA style.